What's going on, y'all? So look, man, I see these boxing channels out here trying to convince Deontay Wilder to denounce the LDBC. All you got to do is denounce the LDBC, Deontay, and everything will be all right with your career. Um, people will start loving you. You will start gaining more fans and more popularity if you just denounce the LDBC. Just denounce those racist LDBC people. Denounce them. Leave them alone and you'll be fine. Man, bro, who do y'all think y'all fooling, man? There's no way on and in hell that Deontay Wilder actually believes that if he denounces the LDBC, that people will start loving him. If y'all don't get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, like, I don't, he don't believe that at all. I don't believe it, and no, like, why, like, come on, fam. It's a lot of y'all that hate Deontay Wilder for no reason at all. Y'all just hate him. So him denouncing the LDBC will have nothing to do with y'all starting to like him or love him. Because y'all don't like the man in the first place. Y'all been not liking him for a long time, so just because he denounces the LDBC, you gonna jump ship and start being a fan? Deontay doesn't strike me as a person who is concerned about people liking him and how many people like him at all. For one, that's the quickest way to failure. You shouldn't live your life trying to get the whole world to like you and get more people to like you and and um and, and uh give you all these accolades all the time. Like, hell no. If y'all ain't with me, if y'all don't like me, it's fuck you. That's how, that's how it should be. All of that trying to get people to like you, please like me. He don't seem to he don't seem to me. He don't seem to be that type of individual to me at all. And in the sport of boxing, you don't have to get people to like you. Look at Floyd Money Mayweather, right? Now, you know what I mean? Floyd was dominating for years and years and years, but people hated Floyd Guts and still hate him to this day. You know what I mean? I think Floyd is an absolute coon, but I believe that the man is the most skilled boxer that I've seen with my own two eyes. But people hated him for years, and people still tuned in because they wanted to see him lose. They wanted to see him be defeated or knocked out by their favorite fighters and so that they would still pay to see him lose time and time again. So being a person that people likes doesn't really matter in boxing that much at all. Like you could be hated and still people will still view your fights because they want to see you go down and see you be, see you get defeated. But all this denounce the LDBC for what? Why would he do that when the LDBC was the one supporting him? From his be from the beginning of his career, when people weren't talking about him, saying that he was a hype job, calling him nothing but hype and calling him nothing but a bomb and so on and so forth. When he was winning and winning and winning, it was the LDBC who was supporting him and backing him up a thousand percent. They were the ones paying for his pay-per-views. They were the ones going to go see him fight all the time. They were the ones that um that would like interview him and talk about him on every one of their platforms and try to get Try to big him up in every way possible. They were the ones going to his fights, like I said before, paying for his matches, paying to see him fight. They were the ones that were supporting him through and through. Why the hell would he jump ship from them? Like, it, it, he's not going to do that. You know what I mean? Especially with for people that just started to come around recently, that just started to like him or just started to even pay attention to him when he fought Tyson Fury. Like, no. He going to be with the dudes that were supporting him for a long time that were... The, that he gonna be with the ones that didn't jump ship. I mean, yeah, the ones that didn't jump ship when he lost. At all, he gonna be with the ones that been supporting him the whole time. Now, whether you hate, you might not like the narrative that you know some of the LDBC channels are saying that um, you know, Tyson Fury may have cheated or use use loaded gloves or so on and so forth, so forth, right? And Deontay Wilder, he may not agree with it or whatever, but he ain't gonna jump ship from from them brothers because they were the ones. Who were standing steadfast with him when people were picking against him every single fight. When people were trying to clown him for not having the right boxing skills. When people were saying he was nothing but um, uh, windmill wilder. When people were calling him names and being derogatory towards him. Who was the ones that was uplifting him? The LDBC was the ones uplifting him the whole entire time. They were the ones who were um, uh, giving him words of encouragement. They were the ones who were coming out and... and, and and, you know, speaking positivity on that brother. So he ain't going to turn his back on them. Hell no. And for what? Again, they ain't going to make people like him more. Like, get that bullshit out of here. He don't like, it's not going to make people really like him or clamor to him if he leaves the LDBC alone. All it is, y'all going to say, aha, we got, you, we got you to break, Deontay Wilder. We got you to do what we wanted you to do. And now we still don't like your ass. That's, just, that's, that is, that's how it's going to play out. Plain and simple. You know what I mean? It's not going to play out any other way, but aha, we got you to break, we got you to bend, we got you to fold and do what we want you to do. You know what I mean? And now, guess what? We still don't like your ass. We still ain't going to pay for your fights. Um, we think They're going to still pay to see them lose, but we still going to say derogatory things about you. We still going to say you're not good for the sport time and time again. All these other channels were saying that Deontay wasn't good for the sport. 
He's somebody that you shouldn't root for. He's somebody that is a, a, a vile person. You shouldn't be rooting for him and so on and so forth. And he's a sloppy fighter and, you know, he's a disgrace to the heavyweights before before him. And the LDBC was the ones like, look, man, this brother, look, he got into boxing to support his daughter and her and her disability. And he stood up like a man when uh, his daughter needed a solution to get her surgeries paid for. He went and found the route of boxing and found something that was able to, to provide for him, his daughter, his, and his family both. You know what I mean? And that was something that is important. That's what you, that's what you should salute a man for. He got up and said, you know what? I'm going to make a change. I'm going to get off my butt and I'm going to go and make something happen. And he made something shake in a sport of boxing that he was not even really familiar with like that. Right? He wasn't even really knowledgeable about he started super late bloomer, started in the sport extremely late and became a bronze medalist out of nowhere. Come on, man. That's something that you should commend. But he ain't going all this. They want him to be weak and leave the LDBC. We promise you. We promise you we'll like you if you leave the LDBC. Man, ain't nobody trying to come out and get uh, uh, we're not begging. Ain't nobody begging for uh, to be liked by nobody. Begging for your support and begging for you to be a fan of his. Like, get the hell up out of here, man. He know who with him and he know who not. And he, I don't think he worried about, you know, um, oh, I got to make sure these people like me. I got to make sure these fan base uh, really, uh, I got to cater to these people, cater to that person. And, you know, I got to be likable at all times. Like, man, hell no. I don't believe no person should live their life trying to be liked at all times by people. Like, it's not it's not a smart thing to do. And he, I believe he recognizes that. And he ain't going to turn his back on the dudes that was riding with him when it wasn't popular to ride with him. That, he's not going to turn his back on people that was always supporting him and taking up for him when the critics were raining down on him heavy after his win against Luis Ortiz and, you know, after he beat Dominic Brazil and, oh, he's a bum, he's a bum. And after the first wild of uh, Fury fight, all the critics was coming on and saying he got exposed and he this and that and he... He's not good for the sport. And he's a bum and all that. The LDBC was the ones that was uplifting him, speaking positivity onto him, giving him interviews, putting him on a platform to give him coverage, to get, get him exposure as best as possible. Even when Golden Boy Promotions wasn't exposing him, they was the ones that was out five, six years ago. Like, I mean, talking nothing but positivity uh, on Deontay Wilder. Brothers like 7 Day Sports TV that was always talking positivity into their, speaking life into their brother, Deontay, all the time, always advocating for their brother's success, always talking about how it's a, like he's been doing great, even when people say, you know, he's a one-trick pony, and that one trick was working so well for so long, right? It was something that we had never seen, like a dude that you say, okay, you know he got that right hand, and you know it's coming, but people couldn't get out the way of it. They still succumb to that right hand all the time, except for this last time with Tyson Fury, you know, and Tyson got Tyson Fury got up in that first fight, but um, nonetheless, man, seven, eight guys, brothers like that that's been riding with Deontay, that's been always in his corner, he ain't going to turn away from them just to appease y'all. Who the hell do y'all think y'all is? Who do y'all think y'all are? Y'all going to tune in either way, whether you like it or not, whether you want to admit it, admit it or not. You're going to tune in either way, whether he winning, whether he uh, whether he uh, losing, whether you love him or you hate him, you're going to tune in because you want to see him lose at the end of the day. And he recognized that, man. All that, he ain't trying to live for y'all. And please like me, you guys. Please, please. Like, man, get the fuck out. Ain't nobody weak like that, bro. I would never be trying to kiss nobody but and do what, I, what, what other people want me to do to be liked. Who lives their life like that? Nothing, nobody but a lame, but a square lives like that. Like a goofy lives like that. Trying to get people to like them as best as possible. Trying to get people, trying to get on the good side of people. Man, if, if you ain't riding with me, and I know I'm a good person, and I know I stand for... Uh, I have upstanding morals and I have, you know, and, and I've been, you know, working my ass off to get to this level and accompli accomplishing so many things in the sport and you're not trying to give me credit for it and you throwing hate on me in every video, then you know what? I'm not, I don't need your support. It's fuck you going for Like all that, ain't nobody trying to kiss nobody ass to try to um, get support and all of that. Who, ain't nobody doing that at all, man. It's, it's absolutely crazy to do that. Ain't nobody riding like that. Ain't nobody getting down like that, period, man. So... People can get up out of here with that, man. Deontay ain't going to denounce the LDBC. And asking him to do that is ridiculous. Or thinking, making him, trying to make him believe that if he denounces the LDBC, that people are all of a sudden going to like him more now. Man, don't nobody believe that. Y'all know that ain't true. So get up out of here with that bullshit, man. Peace.